All right, thanks for watching, and to, it's time for another related rates problem. So let's do the following one. And by the way, there is a similar sounding problem on my channel already, but that one's in German. So hopefully more people understand this one. So a ladder 10 feet long rests against a vertical wall. The top of the ladder slides down at the rate of one foot per second. How fast is the angle between the ladder and the ground changing when the top of the ladder is six feet away from the ground? And again, lots of info given, so let's turn that into a picture. So what do we have? Okay, let's quickly snap a pic. So we have a ladder that we know is 10 feet long. And because the length of the ladder never changes, here it's okay to just put the number 10. The problem is in the other problems was, oh, everything was changing. But here at least the uh, length of the ladder is fixed. So we can let this be like that. And then what else do we have? We have information about the height. Let's call it y of t. And also information about the angle. Let's call it theta. And now what do we do? Well, we need an identity. Oh, well, first of all, what do we want to find? We want to find, again, d theta over dt. When uh, the ladder, the height of the ladder is six feet away, the top of the ladder is six feet away from the ground. So when, y of t equals 6. Okay. And now, well, we need an identity relating the angle with the opposite and the hypotenuse. So abracadabra socatoa, and we get sine of theta equals uh, y of t over 10. So in other words, y of t equals 10 sine of theta. And now what we would like to do, let's differentiate that. So what we get is y prime of t equals 10 cosine theta. But remember, we also need to differentiate theta. So it's times d theta over dt. And so all we need to do is plug in, you know, all the values that we have, and we want to solve also for d theta over t t. So, what do we know? So let's look back at our problem. We know that the ladder, the top of the ladder, slides down at the rate of one foot per second. So, your first guess might be, okay, let y prime is just minus one, uh, y prime is one. So you might guess y prime of t is 1, but look, this doesn't quite make sense because the ladder, it's going down. In particular, the height of the ladder is decreasing. So it cannot be 1 because 1 would mean it's increasing by 1 foot per second. And that's why to really emphasize that y is decreasing, you put minus 1. And that's very important in related rates. Always ask yourself, is our quantity increasing or is it decreasing? So that, okay, we figured out. And now what we need to do, we need to figure out cosine of theta. So let's draw uh, the picture again. So again, the, uh, the length of the ladder is 10. And also what we know now is that y is 6, and what we need to do is find um, cosine of theta. So what do we know? Cosine of theta, well, that's uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's question mark over 10, where question mark is here. And to figure out question mark, you could either use the Pythagorean theorem 
Of course, simply recognize this as a 6, 8, 10 triangle. So in particular, question mark has to be 8, and which is 4 fifths. And now, using that info, we're ready to plug everything in. So let me erase this to rewrite it. So remember, y prime of t, what's 10? Cosine of theta, d theta over dt. So what we get is minus 1 equals 10. Cosine of theta is 4 fifths times d theta over dt. And therefore, what do we get? So uh, in other words, so 10 fifths, that's 2. So 8 d theta over dt, it's minus 1. So d theta over dt, it's minus 1 8. So what's the answer? The answer is simply that theta decreases at a rate of 1 8 feet per second. Very nice. So hopefully now you see a couple um, bag of tricks with related rates. One was the Pythagorean theorem in a previous um, video, and now you see also uh, trig identities are also very useful. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.